Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arteta says he has been scared to do one thing at Arsenal this season. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta spoke to the media last night about Edin Ketea after the youngster stole the show against Chelsea. The Englishman was handed a start for the second game in a row as Alexander Lacazette hadn't fully recovered. Nketiah couldn't do much against Southampton last week, but he showed everyone why he's rated so highly last night. The 22-year-old scored it twice against the Blues to help Arsenal pick up a much-needed 4-2 win. That puts the Gunners right back in the mix for a place in the top four, and if they get there, they will have to thank their young English forward. Arteta was asked why Nketiah wasn't given more chances earlier in the season. The Gunners boss, surprisingly, claimed he didn't have the courage to do it. In his press conference after the game, the Spaniard said, as per Arsenal.com, If there is one player that I have been unfair with, I think it's him, Nketiah. He has given me every right to do something different. So if Eddie hasn't played more, it's my fault, and because as a manager, I have missed something or I haven't had the courage to play him more. Today he showed me again how wrong I was. Nketea has always been a prolific goal scorer while coming through the ranks at Arsenal. Sadly, he hasn't quite had enough opportunities with the senior side to replicate that form. If Lacazette was fully fit, Nketea may not have started the game last night and Arsenal probably wouldn't have managed to beat Chelsea in their own backyard. The youngster grabbed the opportunity with both hands and the Frenchman may not start another game this season as a result. It's a shame for Arsenal and Arteta that Nketiah will be leaving the club on a free transfer this summer, bearing a late change of heart. He will surely be a success wherever he ends up and that may come back to haunt the Gunners in the future. Arsenal host Manchester United at lunchtime on Saturday and Nketiah will likely start up front again. Mendes working to get Arsenal target Asensio to join Tottenham Jorge Mendes is pushing for Marco Asensio to join Tottenham Hotspur ahead of Arsenal according to a report from Calcio Mercato. Asensio looked destined to leave Real Madrid in the summer ahead of the final year of his contract. There is Premier League interest. Reports claim that Arsenal are above all the English teams chasing the 26-year-olds. Meanwhile, it had previously been suggested that Spurs could also be in the running. And it seems that Tottenham may have moved into the pole position. Calcio Mercato reports that Mendes is now handling the wingers' transfer this summer. And interestingly, the super agent is pushing for Asensio to join Tottenham. It makes some sense that Mendes wants to see Asensio at Tottenham. The Real Madrid man is not the only player the Portuguese is trying to entice towards the North London. Previous report claimed that he was speaking to both Darwin Nunes and Taimi Abraham about joining Tottenham. He was reportedly working independently of Spurs. Plenty of Tottenham fans would be extremely pleased if Mendes succeed in getting Asensio through the door. It would also deny their rivals a big signing. Arsenal have done some superb work in the transfer market over the last 12 months and Asensio has the potential to help the Gunners move to the next level. It will be interesting to see how Tottenham respond to Mendes working on their behalf too. Arsenal eyeing a move for Fabian Ruiz this summer. Arsenal have started knocking on the door for Napoli midfielder Fabian Ruiz as they up a move in the summer. That's according to Matino, relied by Calcio Napoli 24, who say the Gunners are one of the three clubs to have made early move for the Spaniard. Like many clubs, Napoli are expected to be busy this summer, with several of their stars being eyed up by clubs around Europe. The likes of Victor Osimha and Khalidou Koulibaly are being linked with moves away, but they are not the only ones being eyed up, with Fabian Ruiz another. According to El Matino, he already has a Newcastle, Arsenal and Atletico Madrid knocking on the door for his signature ahead of this summer. The nature of those efforts isn't made clear, or how far they have gone, just that the first moves have been made by those first clubs. It's not the first time Arsenal have been linked to Ruiz, with numerous reports over the last few months making it clear that they are big fans of the midfielder. Indeed, back in March, it was stated the Emirates was his only likely destination outside of Spain, with it earlier in the month stated they were hovering around looking at Adil. It seems that it progressed slightly from there, and Ruiz is a name to keep an eye on when it comes to the Gunners' summer transfer business.
Arsenal interested in signing Marcel Sabitzer. Arsenal are interested in signing Bayern Munich midfielder Marcel Sabitzer this summer, according to reports from Germany. The Austrian has struggled to establish himself in the Bavarian Giants starting lineup and he remains on the periphery of the first choice 11. The 28-year-old played no part in either of the two legs of Bayern's Champions League quarter-final loss against Villarreal. Sabitzer was a key part of the RB Leipzig side, but he has only scored one goal this season for the German powerhouse. This week's edition of Sport Build looks at the Bundesliga champions' future plans following their chalk elimination at the hands of Anai Emery's yellow submarine. The German magazine states the midfielder is one of the players who will be allowed to go in the next window. Despite following his manager Julian Nagelsmann from Leipzig to the Allianz Arena last summer, Sabitzer has only started eight games across all competitions. As well as Atletico Madrid, Arsenal are touted as a possible destination for the talented midfielder. However, Sabitzer has played Champions League football in the last three campaigns and the Gunners finishing in fourth spot and securing qualification could prove crucial in whether the Austria international sees the Emirates an appealing destination. Sabitzer would definitely bolster Arsenal's midfield options and he would bring an injection of quality and goal-scoring threat from deep. In 229 matches for Leipzig, Sabitzer scored 52 goals and provided 42 assists. If Arsenal are going to close the gap on the league's top sides, then signings in the ilk of Sabitzer could represent good business. Arsenal are in the race of signing Christopher Nkunku. Across European football, there are not many players having a season as good as Christopher Nkunku, who has been on fire for RB Leipzig this campaign and has put Die Rotten Bullen on course to win two trophies. The 24-year-old has played 45 games this season and has an incredible 30 goals and 19 assists to his name, averaging a goal contribution every 0.9 games. This has grabbed the attention of many clubs across Europe, but according to Vigaches, there are only four teams in the fight for the Frenchman signature. The main team that has been linked to the forward are Manchester United, Arsenal, AC Milan and Inter Milan. United have appointed Eric Ten Hag and a squad we think is in order ahead of next season. Nkunku would be perfect for the Dutchman as he is used to playing in a pressing system and is a versatile forward, so he could play in any forward position depending on what formation the Ajax manager opts for. As for Arsenal, they are the last to join the race for the forward and the Frenchman would be the perfect replacement for his countryman Alexandre Lacazette who is set to leave the club at the end of the season. Mikel Arteta likes to use Lacazette as a creator for the rest of his front line and Nkunku is no stranger to the false nine position with the Leipzig man's numbers suggesting that he's excelling in producing up top. Both Milani clubs shouldn't be a problem for the Premier League sides if they really want the Frenchman as they have the financial muscle to outbid the Serie A sides. Nkunku's contract in Germany expires in 2023 and Leipzig hopes to keep the 24-year-old until then, but if a big bid comes and for the forward they will certainly accept it as they would lose the Frenchman for free next year. The Leipzig forward's next destination could come down to whichever of the two is playing Champions League football next season and someone else entering the race can also not be ruled out. Newcastle move into the lead for 72 million euros Man United and Arsenal target. The race for Darwin Nunes will be one of the most watched transfer sagas this summer as several clubs chase the Benfica striker's signature who is valued at 72 million euros by the Portuguese side according to the Daily Mail. Manchester United, Arsenal, West Ham, Bayern Munich and Liverpool are all the clubs said to be interested in the striker according to the Mail and Paris Saint-Germain have also joined the race recently which was reported by Toto Vigaches. Amongst all of these clubs, Newcastle have now taken the lead according to Todo Vigaches, the same source who reported PSG's interest. Nunes is said to be a dream transfer for the Magpies, who are planning the next steps of their development careful as they try to work their way up to the Premier League table. The Daily Mail reported that the Newcastle have already offered 59 million euros to Benfica for the striker and it can only be assumed that this is just their starting offer. 
The Magpies have an abundance of funds after their recent takeover, and if they really want Nunes, they will have to pay up big, as it will be hard to convince the 22-year-old to join over clubs competing in the Champions League, whose offers will be similar to Newcastle's. This would be a massive cup for Eddie Howe and Newcastle, as the striker could be what Sergio Aguero was to Manchester City during their reclaim to the top of the English game. Also, they have taken the lead in the bidding for the striker. It will come down to the Uruguayan whether he wants to play Champions League football now or join the McBuy's project. Arsenal will need a replacement for Alexander Lacazette, who is set to leave the Gunners in the summer, and Nunes is the perfect replacement. Nunes' contract expires in the summer of 2025, and the young striker has scored a whooping 33 goal in 38 games this season for Benfica. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news show, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.